Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. Well, the rains were flying earlier today, then a break, and more rain falling right now. But you know what? It may come to an end here later this evening. Eh, some ball games may have already been canceled, especially in some areas where the heavier rain has come down. But if you've had only light rain, it may be coming to an end here in the next hour. But there's still a risk of a shower as we head all the way up to midnight. Let's take a look at Precision Live Doppler, see what's happening as we speak. Precipitation tracking through the Boise area. And uh, the steadier precipitation seems to be moving out of Boise right now, pushing towards southeast Boise, up into the foothills around Lucky Peak. Mountain home, rain right on your doorstep from the Air Force Base and downtown. That'll track on through the heaviest rain falling now and a couple batches of heavy rain have pushed through just north of Emmett and over Emmett right now. You're getting a good soaking there and your temperatures are cool. It is damp. It is chilly. It almost feels like the weather during the Cherry Festival last year when the heavy rain came down and the temperatures are just so cold. But that rain will continue to track on through and it'll warm up a little bit as some of this drier weather from the west begins to move right back in. So here's Meridian with light rain around. Nampa, same thing to the north around Eagle. Some heavier showers. Eagle uh, Middleton as well getting some rain from this. This is the real heavy stuff crossing Highway 52 uh, right there in Emmett. It is really coming down right now. So if you want to wait till the rain ends, it won't take long. Maybe another 25, 30 minutes. It'll really start to let up as you can see that dry weather coming in. A heavier shower right near Parma, south of Homedale. Homedale, you may scoot by this storm system, but Marsden could be under the gun for a heavy shower coming through with that storm. Temperatures 50s to near 60 in the 30s in the mountains. A cold rain falling in the call. Some snow falling at Brundage Mountain today. Maybe some fresher snow coming in for their last bonus weekend. Here's that rain pushing through. Some slightly dry weather, but some isolated showers popping in here. They'll tend to dry out after midnight tonight, and I think we'll see some drier, milder conditions coming in for the day tomorrow. There are the rain showers on our future cast this evening, tracking off to the north and to the east up until midnight. We still have that risk, but look at this. 7, 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. It'll be dry as you head off to work or school. Don't expect any rain in the Treasure Valley. As the day progresses, we may see some cloud cover, but you know what? In mid-60s, we bump the temperature up a little bit. Breeze won't be that strong. We'll get a good deal of sunshine. Should be a pretty decent day coming in. So this is a Tuesday afternoon. We'll push it ahead to Tuesday night. A couple showers could come through. We'll get a break during the day on Wednesday, but more showers could come through. Here's the break for Wednesday later in the day. More showers could come in for Thursday morning as well as that moisture continues to track on through. There's Thursday morning. So we have off and on precipitation that a big change coming in for the weekend. Very dry air, as to say, dry air coming in for the daytime tomorrow. But over the weekend, that jet stream is going to surge to the north and a heat pump will develop. And our temperatures are going to soar through the 70s into the 80s. At least it is likely right now that would be the case. 60s, mid-60s tomorrow, so a little milder than today. Winds will stay light. We'll get a lot more sunshine around. So a nicer day coming up in the Treasure Valley for tomorrow. In the West Central Mountains, there's still a chance for a shower early in the morning. Later in the evening, 61 in Garden Valley. Pine Featherville, you'll hit 59. Donnelly and McCall between 48 and 51 degrees. 62 in the main salmon and Riggins with a late day shower possible. In the Magic Valley tomorrow, 60 to 66. Generally, although it'll be 59 in Shoshone. Increasing sunshine as the day goes on. Not a bad day coming up. My precision extended forecast coming up for the next few days will be in the 60s. Friday looks nice at 74. After early morning clouds, the sun will start to pop on through. We should see a decent amount of sun over the weekend. And look at these temperatures, 80 to 84 degrees Saturday and Sunday. And it may linger into Monday as well. This is quite the weekend coming up for outdoor activities. And if you're dealing with the race for Roby, it might be best to just cheer on everybody else is going up the hill because <laughs> wow. ice packs. I hope that everybody is uh, preparing for the warm weather because it can be very Hydrate. difficult. Don't go for, the, for your, your best, your personal best on this oh, race. Oh, that's, e Just that's like easy they, to say. <laughs> it's, it, and it's difficult for people to do that, but for the right. Boston Marathon, they had the heat today as well, and oh, that's what yeah. they were saying. People had to mellow out, and, and that's really what you should, should be thinking for Saturday with heat like that. Huh? Okay. That's good advice. Yes.